Brandon, I can't believe our day is here. The day where we promise each other to unconditionally love one another for the rest of our lives. Though we make this commitment today, I have made it. I have made it since the day we became us. I knew from the beginning that you were my person, the person I can imagine my life without. The person I wanted to share my adventures and memories with. The person I would marry even in the middle of the pandemic. The person who I wanted to be my forever. There was never a doubt that it was always you and it will forever be you. What I love the most is that our story is unique. Dads grew up as friends and neighbors. They both had children. Uh, the children officially meet as adults. Projection happens twice. People don't forget. He reaches out. She shuts, or she shuts it down. The flame gets sparked at the hometown bar. Fall in love, and here we are. About to become Mr. and Mrs. Johansson. I truly can't think of a more fitting venue than Brandon's childhood home. For an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the soon to be newlyweds, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends a normal relationship and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Brandon, that happened about 25 years ago when he first met me and became best friends. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't resist a cool Asian kid with an amazing bowl cut. In all seriousness, all of us can see how deeply these two care and have love for one another. And I feel grateful and blessed to be here today to witness it among all of you as a commitment of their lifetime of love for one another. Um, there's a quote that says, if there's such a thing as a good marriage, it's because it resembles friendship rather than love, and I feel like that's the whole truth holds true for you guys. For all of you that know, Jessica and I are really close. She's like my best friend. And I texted her and said, can't wait to see you walk down the aisle later. Been waiting for this day since we were little. There's not a better guy than Brandon. I mean, he's always been there, you know, if you need help. He's always wanted to help you out. It really wasn't until years later that I realized that I predicted this outcome. Brandon reminded me about a month ago of a photograph that I made like five years ago. You know? <laughs> I really, I didn't know that I had Cupid's DNA in my jeans, but Match.com, look out, here I come. <laughs> I'm so happy Brandon finally came around and let you pester him into being your boyfriend, then your fiance, and now officially your husband. Then you met Brandon and your inner light came out making you glow so brightly. Seeing y'all together makes my heart so happy. I love your relationship and I'm so excited you found your soulmate. <sighs> okay. To me, days like today are what life is all about where we get to pause and form from our routine lives and appreciate all the little things that have led, up, led us up to this moment. Jess and Brandon, I truly, it's truly a gift for me to be here today celebrating the unity of your beautiful love. Cheers to you and the road ahead. Congratulations to you two and I hope for the best for you. We love you brother. Cheers to you guys and COVID and backyard weddings. Woo! Love you. The ceremony is a symbol of how far they've come together and the promises that they will make to each other to continue to, life, to live their life together solely above all others. Brandon, will you take Jess to be your lawfully wedded wife and travel the rest of life's road with her? Will you love her, laugh with her, 
comfort her and honor her, and protect her, forsaking all others. Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. Jess, will you take Brandon to be your lawfully wedded husband and travel the rest of life's road with him? Will you love him, laugh with him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Now, please have the rings. <laughs> Brandon, with this ring, I'm giving you my promise. Brandon, with this ring, I am giving you my promise. To always love you and cherish you. To always love you and cherish you. Honor you and comfort you. Honor you and comfort you. I promise that I will love you. I promise. And keep my heart open to you. Keep my heart open to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Jessica, with this ring, I am giving you my promise. Jessica, with this ring, I'm giving you my promise. To always love you and cherish you. To always love you and cherish you. Honor you and comfort you. Honor you and comfort you. I promise that I will love you. I promise that I will love you. And keep my heart open to you. And keep my heart open to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Standing by each other, sharing all the sweet and bitterness in life. Each tender act, each loving word, will be a declaration of what has made you today. Therefore, it is my joyful responsibility to officially acknowledge you as husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to announce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Jessica Johansson. I'm glad that Brandon and Jessica found each other. You know, they're a perfect couple. And I just wanted to welcome Jess to the family. But something I couldn't help but notice was how incredibly real the love they shared was. They were dancing together, belly laughing, singing at the top of their lungs. And every once in a while, she would run into his arms and he would twirl her around. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me and the best decision I've ever made. I wrote these vows right after we got engaged. I love when you give me that butterfly feeling even after three years. I love a million more things about you, Brandon. What it all comes down to is that I love that you are you. And I'm beyond grateful that I have you. You are the one I run to, the one I trust the most. Thank you for being on my side. Thank you for being on my team. I can't wait to share the rest of my life with you, Brandon.